Quite probably the worst idea New Zealand rugby has ever come up with. Whoever thinks that the All Black brand needs further dilution with the creation of a new All Blacks 15 needs to be given the Joe Marler treatment and pronto. This is both naff and cheap and will do nothing but confuse the positioning of the brand, even though those responsible remain desperate to convince us otherwise. There is only one All Blacks. That's the myth. That's what made our team who they are. That's why the All Blacks are globally famous. The brand, and yes, how much do all us fans detest that term, was born upon a marketing principle called less is more. And that's exactly why it's worked. That's the reason the All Blacks have cut through to become as iconic to world sport as they currently are. The All Black jersey is mythical because it's been so elusive, so difficult to earn, worn by less than 1,200 men in over 100 years. Can't they see this? Can't anyone see this? The jersey has always been so precious because of what it takes to get given one, to earn one. But now it's an image, it's a brand. It's there to be carved up, apportioned off and sold to whatever Middle Eastern or Asian or West Coast billionaire wants to use it as his own personal plaything that week. It's not an All Blacks 15 at all. Think All Blacks Light, All Blacks B. The team that's not the All Blacks but is so clearly trying to trade off the name of the All Blacks, All Blacks. How is this possibly commercially good for the brand again? And if this is the brainchild of the review, if this really is the master plan derived from the most recent comprehensive audit of the sport in this country, then the long-term future for rugby is well and truly stuffed. New Zealand rugby needs another All Blacks team, like Alan Wynne-Jones needs another Joe Marler handshake.